Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Like I said, I'm trying to capture my thoughts leading towards Easter and all the things that Easter brings. And like I said, this morning, I'm still on Luke chapter 9, the whole process of Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. Now, the Bible says now he took, in Luke chapter 9, he took his disciples, that is Peter, James, and John, to go and pray. And of course, they were there, but they were not there. Now, when he went, he was praying, but they were not praying. He was uh, going through the, uh, the, the issues, but they were just spectators, if you read the story. But to this morning, i like to uh, capture my thoughts with the words, catalyst of transformation. Catalyst of transformation. Now, the Bible says when Jesus got to that mountain with his disciples, and as he prayed, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance changed and his raiment became white as snow. Now, so as Jesus prayed, two things began to take place. First of all, his countenance, that is he himself, began to change. And, uh, and then secondly, even his, his, his raiment, that what he was wearing, also um, changed. Now, I'm very, I'm very intrigued by this. The Bible says the fashion of his countenance. Now, prayer brought certain changes. Prayer brought change in, 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 in him. That is an outward, his outward appearance. The fashion of his countenance changed. And then also his raiment also changed. And so for me, prayer was a catalyst that brought change to Jesus. Number one, external. And number two, uh, internal. First, external, the fashion of his countenance changed. External, his raiment also changed. That is, prayer brought changes both for him and for his circumstances. And then the next thing that was very, very important for me, prayer didn't only change. The Bible says his raiment also changed. Anytime we talk about apparel or raiment, we talk about attitude. The Bible says that concerning the uh, gathering demoniac, when the people came, they saw him delivered by clothed in his right mind, but clothed in his right mind. You know, so the Bible says that prayer brought a physical change to Jesus and also brought an internal change in him, an attitudinal change that something, prayer transformed, prayer became a catalyst. You know, sometimes I really wonder when people say they are prayer warriors and they are prayer warriors and, and there's no change. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I can't explain. But prayer definitely brings changes. Prayer will change something that is internal in you. Prayer will change your character. Prayer will change certain things concerning as you marry prayer with the word. They have to bring changes to you. And also too, prayer would also change your circumstances. That is circumstances that surround you. That is the things that are going on around you. His, the fashion of his countenance was changed and his raiment was also changed. So I, 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 I find it very, very amazing when people say they are prayer warriors and then they are engaged in prayer and there's no change. There's no attitude, no change. That is an internalized work of the Holy Spirit in them or the Holy Ghost in them. I mean, they, they, I can't see it. And then also there's, there are no external transformations. Prayer brings changes. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes you, changes your surrounding, or changes your atmosphere, or changes your circumstances. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Prayer brings changes. So prayer is a catalyst for transformation. What would we call prayer without changes? I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit befuddled by it. I'm a little bit confused by it. No. Prayer is a catalyst for transformation. It's up to you to make your choice. See you later.